Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have another one page wonder project to share with you. I really enjoyed making this one. I'm going to show you the vintage sort of version first, and then I'm going to also show you a different style that you could try as well. Um, I've always liked to kind of see how things look in sort of different designs. Now, this is not my original idea. I did see, I believe, Corey Damon is her name. She mentioned that Gail Agostinelli was trying to make one and the directions were a little confusing. So she kind of redid it again. And that's where I saw that video and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so inspired to make one really easy to make uh, one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and you can see it has so many little pockets and of course depending on you know how you design it you can add so many more little secret pockets and areas to tuck things in uh, i will also link in the description box below the playlist to my one sheet wonder um, ideas. I have more tutorials and different ways that you can use one sheet of paper. Uh, I like to either work with 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11, which is what we mostly have. Now this one was made with a double-sided paper. I believe it's Tim Holtz, uh, but you can certainly make these with, um, you know, the single-sided papers, which I find is very helpful because those are the ones that I'm usually having a hard time figuring out what to do with them. So um, I'm going to show you how to make one with a single sided sheet of paper 12 by 12. And then, of course, um, you know, you can just go from there. So as you can see, I've added, um, you know, like a little belly band on the left with some vintage lace. I've added another little flip out with, um, you know, just adding it with washi tape to the page. Some of the items I actually have used, I will link them below. I've used some supplies from Stationery Pal, from Your Creative Studio Box, which I will have an unboxing very soon in another project share. And um, I believe the other pieces, it's just things that I've had as well um, in my collection. So you can see how um, really easy and fun it is to make something really flat also for flat mail. So if you don't embellish too much on the top, in the front um, you can easily send this in uh, in snail mail because it does lay quite flat so here's like my easter spring themed version and again you've got your little pocket on the side here and then you've got um, you know additional pieces now i picked this piece um, of 12 by 12 which is one of those really difficult to use pieces i find because they have either a border on the outside of the page and sometimes those are very difficult for me to use because I'm not a scrapbooker. I don't do those 12 by 12 layouts. So for me, it's a matter of figuring out, you know, how to use those pieces. That cute little bunny washi tape. I, oh my gosh, I love, love, love it. It's from the washi tape shop. And I recently did another video showing you some ideas um, where I shared some of the washi tape designs that I recently um, hauled from them as well. So I will leave all those links in the description box below for you. So we start with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I'm using single sided paper. And like I said, I like to use these papers that, um, you know, you usually don't have a place to put them if you're not like a scrapbooker and you're not using, uh, you know, the page for a layout. So those are the ones I kind of gravitate towards when I'm making these one sheet wonders. You cut it into a six by six, which is what you need to make this project. And then it's super easy once you start your scores. You will um, kind of pick, you know, your design of what your front flip out will be. So that's where you um, play around with, you know, seeing the design of your scrapbook paper that you're using. Um, if you're just using plain scrapbook paper, then of course you can just add, you know, your um, layers to it afterwards. So your first score line is at four inches and then the the pockets i'm going to call it will be um, scored at three and a half inches and now corey did cut um, her paper like a half an inch shorter so it would end up being five and a half by um, six so you'd be cutting off this half an inch here i went ahead and did it to two of the six by sixes at one point the video i'm showing you here where i filmed it i just kind of left one sheet but if you wanted to you can cut two of your six by sixes into five and a half by six and then 
um, of course your score line will be at the three inch mark then you flip it to kind of mark the halfway point between the sheets as you can see here and this is just if you're making those little um, kind of like a thumb or, or um, what do we call these again just the indications where the pockets will be and um, you just sort of mark it halfway through now it doesn't really need to be done this way and you'll see why in a moment but I'm just following, um, you know, the way that she did her um, her tutorial. So you can see one pocket is a little bit larger than the other if you fold it in half. And now I'm just showing you this will be the left one is my front page. The um, second, the right side will be my pockets. And then this is the easiest way to do this. You just basically gluing this to your cover page so you can see how easy this is to put together now i found using single-sided sheet of paper worked well because the white um, part of the paper you can't really see it and you of course can end up covering up as much of it as you want later so i just i really like using the single-sided for this project because then it feels like i don't waste the um the design that would have been on the back if I was using double-sided. Now, if you flip it this way, it looks like an envelope, which is kind of cool. And of course you can, you know, make it um, go in this way once you finish your design, but I'm just doing it how I had seen them do it. Now, I didn't see um, Corey's original video. I just saw the follow-up one that she mentioned, um, you know, that um, she kind of updated for Gail's sake. So you can see how um, easy this is to put together and it really depends on how you want to design it. You can make it look like, you know, envelopes or you can turn it um, sideways like the original design. I'm just realizing that I left the two last pieces with very similar designs, but that's okay because this is just like my sample um, little album. So again, we're scoring at four inches one of the six by sixes and then the other one will score at three and a half now this would be the sheet that if you wanted to cut it down to five and a half by six then you know that would work as well so we're scoring at three and a half and then this is the sheet where you make your little um, circular cuts for your pockets just to indicate where you have pockets on the page and again, this is something that you can decide to do or not do. You can just leave them just as they are. And once you glue them onto your page, then you'll notice where your pockets are. And we're basically repeating the same process as we did with the first um, couple pages where we did our pockets and our, um, our sort of cover page. And um, once we do this, then I'm going to show you the closure and, um, and you can kind of get an idea on, you know, the way that you want to do that one as well. So like I said, um, for this design, because it's my sample one, it doesn't really matter, you know, where my design is and what it looks like, uh, because this is the one that I'll keep as, um, you know, as sort of the one that I refer back to whenever I'm making another one in the future. But these are, like I said, quite easy to put together and I'm really enjoying, you know, doing a little bit of crafting with the limited supplies that I have at the moment. As I've mentioned recently, I'm in the process of moving to a new craft space and um, everything is just everywhere at this point. So if even finding my supplies has been interesting because I packed everything away and now I'm having to um, you know try and remember where I have something when I'm creating a project um, to share with all of you so that's fun um, I do have uh, as I mentioned uh, an unboxing coming up soon for your creative studio and I did use uh, some of the supplies in that um, in that kit in that subscription box I should say um, in this project. There was just a couple pieces that I thought went nicely with it. And um, those are the ones that, um, you know, because they're coming in, I'm able to use those more readily now than unpacking things that I have on hand. So I'm um, just showing you here the, um, 
the, the different ways that you can attach it. And now this is another part where if you wanted to do the um, little notch to show where your pocket is, you could do this before you attach these two pieces together. Now in the video, I show you, um, you know, how I attach it um, uh, before obviously I, I'll make my little notch before I attach it and again this is where you would cover up your you know white piece of cardstock if you didn't want to see that um, once you've glued it together now you just saw me playing around with the design and which one I actually want it to be the front cover so at this point I decided this is going to be the inside pocket and the attachment to the design. Um, I think originally I had decided this would be my front um, page but of course as always we change our minds and when you're gluing make sure that um, you're gluing three sides. I think I just showed you two here but you want to glue the three sides onto your cover um, and this way it just kind of attaches it a little bit easier and it's now just a matter of waiting it to attach and glue together and then you can see how you've got your little pocket on the flip out and then everything that you flip uh, from here on end has uh, pockets on every page and the back is where you can decide if you want to attach like a mini you know a few pages for a mini journal I think that's how I had seen them um, or at least Corey mentioned that she attached some journal pages to the back of hers and then made it like a little journal for um, uh, made a, a journal for it so here I'm just um, cutting out a little paper for the tab and this is where you would be attaching your closure now I'm again just following you know what they did in in the tutorial um, but you can certainly decide what you wanted to do with yours because I made my little notch for um, to show that there's a pocket at the bottom I'm going to attach the tab on the top uh, but before I do that I thought I would just you know use a little bit of um, extra paper to cover up that little white um, part on the inside flap and like I said you could do this ahead of time before you glue your pages together um, but I decided to do this afterwards and again I'm just marking where I already had the little notch made so that it kind of matches the page that I'll be using to cover it up and uh, another thing I love about this project is of course you can use your scrap pieces to make additional pockets flip outs etc like you saw in the one I showed you at the start of the video the vintage design one where I added lots of little flip outs in addition to the pockets that we've already added to this so I'm just going to finish doing this and then adding a little closure so I hope that you are all doing well. We are actually um, almost at, um, I believe most of the restrictions have been lifted on our end. I can't believe that it's been like two years with them, um, you know, with the virus and everything else. But we are now able to get out and about. Um, we do still have the um, mask um, mandates where, you know, if you're going inside public spaces, you still have to wear masks, which, personally I'm okay with um, but I think once those are lifted then things are just going to feel a little bit different and maybe a little bit more relaxed we'll see how that goes um, but I do know that some people obviously still have to wear their masks because of their immunity and you know whatever other health concerns they have so um, it's just going to be a little different but we're getting used to it I'm so looking forward to spring and as you can see I'm pulling out a lot of my little spring crafty projects because I just really need the snow to be finished we do still have uh, almost the entire month left and there is still snow in the forecast but I'm really looking forward to oh my gosh to this snow just being done with I'm, I'm really done with winter this year so here I'm just using a little bit of sari silk ribbon and I'm just quickly, um, you know, making a closure. Again, this is where you decide what kind of closure you want for your little design. But I found that this was really uh, quick and fun to make. And then, of course, if you wanted to decorate, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but these ones don't really seem to need a lot of decorating. I think 
the best part of it is you can just add your um, ephemera inside the pockets or maybe photos etc depending on where you're sending it so that's it my friends i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to hit the like subscribe hit that notification bell and check out my other playlists for more ideas thanks so much for stopping by